think is important is that um, they want to get the highest possible quality of teachers into Scottish schools. And the Donaldson report was very strong on that issue. And what Graham, who is here, and we can confirm if I'm wrong, um, what Graham said was that he wanted to make sure that you had the knowledge that was required to teach and the skills that you required to teach. Now, it's interesting that in other parts of the world, except England, that's the direction in which teacher education is going. People are identifying the need for greater knowledge, deeper <coughs> knowledge, and taking the view that if you understand better your own subject and have better skills in teaching, you will become a better teacher. So I think those are the directions in which the provisions to the BS should go. So we should be looking for greater degrees of specific expertise within any replacement programs. We should be looking to try and ensure that we don't dumb down. And I think Teach First is an example of one such scheme. It can produce excellence. And if Teach First is to produce people who have the same skills and knowledge and the same PPCE qualifications that England gives, then they will be registered to teach in Scotland. But we're not looking at fast track, quick entry. We're looking at quality of entry, however that is achieved. And so I think that the end of itself is not a tarnished brand. What we could do is we could look at the best qualities of the end and we could produce an MA in education or something of that order in which there may be some specific skills. You may find people who have teaching for teaching in the future in our primary schools who have an MA in education and have got specific knowledge in history or in French or in science, but they're still doing much of the work that the ED students are doing in this faculty <coughs> and in other faculties around the country. single route to teaching and that's very important and, and many many people have talked about the importance of that. Um, people coming onto the, the postgraduate course are coming with different sorts of experiences, different sorts of knowledge from those who are generally coming onto the BEd course. Um, what I would say is that, that just because you have a degree, whether it's an ordinary or an honours degree in a particular subject, doesn't guarantee that you're going to be a good teacher. Um, we've seen people coming with honours degrees, and I'll give maths as an example, who struggled to teach maths to primary children because they just didn't get it. They couldn't understand why children weren't able to understand the key concepts. So having, having a, a high, high quality degree does not guarantee that you're going to be a good teacher. And it's one of the things that's part of our um, process when we're looking at applications. We think it's really, really important. Yes, look at what people are coming with in terms of qualifications, but let's look at the experience they have. And anyone coming on a one-year course won't even get a sniff at it unless they've been working with young people, working with children in school or in other contexts. So they have built up some knowledge and some experience of what's happening in schools before they even start the course. That, I suppose, does get some problems because if they've been in schools and they've been with good teachers, they think it's easy. Um, and good teachers make it look so easy and it's only when you actually try to do it for yourself that you realise it's not. Um, but that experience, that previous experience in schools and talking to teachers is really, really important. But I come back to the first point, we don't ever want to go down to the, the situation where there is only one single way to become a teacher. It doesn't help anyone. Thanks for the big course that is soon to be dead. Um, <laughs> we are working very hard as a university just now thinking about what the replacement for that course is going to look like. We're very proud of our BN course at Strathclyde and we're very, very proud of Strathclyde BN graduates and we know there's a passport into of entry into many, many schools across the world. We know that schools are delighted to have Strathclyde graduates from our BN programme, so we know that there are definitely things that we're doing right. Um, I'm very keen to make sure that we capitalise on that, that we make sure that we keep the very base of the course, but introduce some of the things that Graham has been talking about in his report. I have some concerns about people having um, a degree in French and education if they actually have two degrees and not very much. I would much rather that people had the real depth of knowledge and understanding about education um, that our, we know our BEDs have, as well as knowledge um, about an aspect or a couple of aspects of the cur curriculum. I have some concerns for schools um, with some of the programmes that are running where the students have a good depth of knowledge in one area but know very little about other things that are going on. 
Um, what I like about our VN course is our students' ability to be reflective. I would like to see anybody who's been through the Teach First come and run a CPD Society event like this and meet the students who are second year and fourth year who can run an event without any of the staff overseeing them. All we do is book them a room and tell them it has to be brilliant or they're dead. <laughs> Thank you. 